Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and this is another video of another order and this time I'm making a topper for a lady that got one of the best hair I have ever seen in my life. This is virgin uh, white European hair and it's flawless. The thickness of this hair is so fine. I think it's finer than my hair, I don't know, but it looks so nice and so creamy and so flawless. She has given a lot of time and effort to find hair like that and this seems like a, a ponytail haircut, which means that it's from a donor. You can see that it has some black hair in here. And the hair seems to be, yeah, this is identical to the white hair. So it's one donor. And I don't know how much she paid for that. She must have paid a lot of this. Now I have a photo of hair. Yeah, she also has a little bit of a salt and pepper in the back of her head. So the front is wider, the back is a little lighter. So the thing is that she doesn't really she doesn't really give any specifications for that. She said, how about do it all? Because I questioned it. Do I blend this hair together? Because there's a chunk of black hair over here. And she said, I prefer this to be just white. And I told her that I can implement a couple of black strands in the back of the piece because you have some dark pieces in the back. But of course, as I said uh, in numerous um, videos, salt and pepper hair and especially female hair they have a lot of dimension like you you have your temples wider you have the top little salt and pepper you have the back and the lower parts darker so whatever happens it will still look natural i just want to make it a little bit flawless so the first thing i need to do uh, the first thing i did is put a more uh, elastics because she only had this little tiny elastic here and i almost thought that the hair would collapse so when you take pieces ponytail haircuts you better put more elastic like one here and one here as well just to make sure that nothing is going to fall apart so the first thing i have to do is i really need to take out the the dark strands as i said i am going to keep some of the dark hair in there but i'm going to show you how i will make that so the first thing i have to do is hand pick out some chunks and yeah, it will have a couple of white hair. I'm not gonna throw this away, obviously. But yeah, I have to take the, the point deal out first. Okay, just. And of course it has some really short strands that I will not really use. I always do it like that. So I need this just to keep the hair for now so I'm removing this little piece over here just to keep it over there um, there are some scattered black hair in here which I can't really do much with it, but it's good because as I said, I do need to have a little bit of salt and pepper, at least in the back of the head. So I'm gonna keep it the way it is and I'm only going to discard the super short strands, the ones that I'm not gonna use like These are very short strands and what do you know, I actually I can say that I almost got rid of the super dark strands only. So this little bundle seems good enough to be used as it is. It has a little bit of dark strands in there which is very uh, desirable in this case. So I might use this for the back of the, of the piece. So I'm taking the second piece and I can see that I have a huge clump of black hair over here. So let me just try to remove as much as I can from here. Of course, I'm not going to discard this hair. Let's see. Yeah, this has to go here. I have a little bit more over here. No, I think this is going to be just blended in. Or could I just remove it? Yeah, the rest seems just fine. So let me just remove the elastic. And my elastic again. And I'll 
take this one and just place it over here just to keep it for now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard all the super short strands, shorter than that. You can see that these are very short. I repeat myself every time. This is extremely short. Uh, it is what it, it's there, but you can we cannot really use it. So I opt to remove it. If I was gonna make wefts with this hair, and if I had a wefting machine, I wouldn't mind these. But there's no reason for me to keep them right now, right where they are. So I'm just gonna brush them off. I keep a very good grip of this hair, and whatever falls down is here that I don't really touch it. And I can say that this hair is also whiter now. It seems that the super short hair is mostly black. Because I can see like a couple of dark strands in here, and this is actually exactly the way I want this to be. So I'm gonna put the elastic back on this one. Now oh, this is gonna be destroyed. I have two more over here, let me just throw this away, I don't need that. I also have a black bundle over here. I'll just remove this. I'm gonna try to take back some of the white hair that I got here. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, no frame. So I'm taking this little piece, put it over here just to keep it for now. And I'm going to discard the super short strands of this bundle. And voila, it, it actually turns lighter. Yeah, the super short strands are all dark. You can see that. So I'm really happy with this. I am so envious of people who have so white hair. You know, people don't like the white strands, the salt and pepper look because it makes people look uh, older. But when someone gets to this state at a, at a rather young age, I am drop dead jealous. This is a killer color. I wish I had this kind of hair. Like my hair is light color, but you know, I just wish I had that. I'm gonna detangle this before I just take it out to make sure that nothing is gonna fall apart. And yeah, I have a little bit of this color over here, but also this piece seems to have a little bit of a, you know, the yellow as tint. Let me just show you in contrast. This is whiter than that, and this just has this yellowness that the white hair usually get, which is very natural. And I think that from her photo, I can see that she does have a little bit of that. But yeah, I think, I think that I, I cannot really remove much of that. So this hair will probably just be blended with the rest. There's not much to do here. Because she does have some super super white uh, areas, but she also has some areas that look a little yellower, naturally yellow. She doesn't really dye her hair. It's the way it is. All right. Remove this. Keep it over here. And now discard the short strand. There were a couple of knots over here on the hair. Okay. I could have removed this as well. Yeah, let me just remove it now. Because I can see that there are a lot of dark strands over here. It's a little grayer. 
Okay, this piece is a little grayer than the rest, so I'm gonna take this into consideration and probably just blend it with the other so as to have it a little bit more uniform. Or I might not even have to use this one, I don't know, I'm gonna see. Throw this away. And of course I'm gonna take, oh my god, my hands are full of hair around. And of course I'm not gonna discard this, so I'm just gonna take it out of the thing over here. They also have a couple of really short strands that I'm gonna just discard them manually. Just place it over here. This as well. Now I'm just going to remove the super short strands. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this on another bundle. I might need to blend this hair uh, later on, so I'm just keeping it like that. So these are the pieces that I have to work with. These are the three lightest. This is the one that has a little bit of a, a more of a yellowish tint, but as I said, I can just blend it in with this one. And this one has the dark strands. I'm gonna keep it apart just to be able to implement a little bit of, of that in the back. And then while I go in the front, I start using more of the whitest. So the next step is to separate this hair according to length. And I'm gonna do it now. I'm not really going to remove a lot of the strands from here, but you can see that they, although I just discarded and threw away the really short hair, there are some strands here that are short enough not to be used. So I'm going to actually discard this. I'm going to use anything longer than that. And the rest is just going to be packed in a little bundle and sent back to her. So yeah, let's just take my other. I'm going to need this one. They are different. You can see that this has this has the teeth going that way and this has the teeth going that way. So it's a different thing for a different job. So I'm gonna place it over here. I can do it all at once, I think, but yeah, I'm gonna probably do it all at once. This is one of a kind hair. You really need to be extremely careful when you work with this hair. So let me just separate it into smaller sections. Let's take another section just to make sure. I don't mind having hair protruding from this side, but I need to make sure that all the hair is almost aligned here so as the pieces that I take are all the same. Yeah, I can do them all at once. I don't want to do them all at once because this hair is quite a lot. So I just need to be able to, ow, to snug them in. It's pinchy. This is the other part. I'm probably gonna do it two by two. Two now. Okay, just.
All right, so now it's ready and it's tucked in. So what I have to do now is just measure the amount that I want. And I'm gonna do this by having, yeah, this could work again. So I want all the hair that is longer than this apparently, or a little more, like just, let me just count this. Where's my tape? The hair is approximately like 14 inches. Let's keep everything longer than seven inches then. Okay, just to make sure that we have plenty. I'm gonna take my big clumps. And let the magic begin. I'm gonna start by pulling just a little bit of hair just to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart. I hope I am on frame all the time. It's a great concern. I have to be extra careful every time and especially this time because this hair is one of a kind there's no way I could compensate for that if by any chance I did a mistake and this hair is not a lot it's just very little hair so I need to be able to be extra I, I need to save the most that I can So I have them both ready. This one has a little bit more uh, salt and pepper than this. This is a little bit more pure white, but I plan to use this in the back and this more in the front. And in the back, I would probably put a little bit more salt and pepper and then fade it out towards the front. Uh, I can see that it has a little bit more black, but it's just perfect from apart. You can see that they almost look identical. So I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna take the one that is a little darker. Oh, and of course I have this one over here and the two small ones that I'm not going to be using. So I'm going to take this one, I have a little bit more here already. Um, take the elastic. I'm going to take half of it because this is a lot of hair. And probably even a little less than half of it. over here no this is too much I think so I'll take this which is slightly less Secure enough. And this hair is ready to be ventilated. I'm gonna have to make the uh, base now. And when I'm done with the base, I'll start ventilating.
So I just made the base as you can see and I'm gonna ventilate until the black line obviously and I have left a little excess. I haven't folded it yet because I'm gonna fold it after I ventilate the hair. This is how I do it because I want the hair to be ventilated on a single layer of lace and then I'm gonna fold it beneath and put the clips. So now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start ventilating with the hair and the reason why I cannot really uh, do I cannot time lapse this anymore is because I'm using this uh, magnifying lamp and I have it very close like here so the camera wouldn't be able to pick anything and unfortunately this is what it is until I managed to find a way to put the camera under the other here somewhere I don't know um, I won't be able to videotape it because the, the distance is this amount so even if I put the the camera here it's gonna be too close so yeah, I, I cannot really time lapse anymore because I really need to work on this one. It's so much easier. I don't need to, but I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna ventilate it. I'm gonna probably take a couple of snapshots while I uh, do a couple of spots. And then I'm gonna finish the piece and show you the results. So I have already made a little bit and I am making the typical thick density in the perimeter and a little more natural in the center. Um, the thing is what I want to show you is that for example now I have a quite good amount of just uh, mostly white salt and pepper but there are pieces where I have a little bit more dark. How I'm doing this, as I said I want in the back to have a little bit more salt and pepper so what I'm doing is that I'm taking the hair that is uh, more salt and pepper than the other one which I have it here and what I'm doing this with this is that I'm placing I usually ventilate with a magnifying lens, but I'm going to show you now without it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the the needle and I'm placing, like for example, I'm going to put one over here. I'm going to grab a black one. See that? And I'm going to go over here, for example. Try to grab at least one black. Yeah, I didn't grab it anyway. So I'm going to make one more here. And place a black one as well so this way I'm trying to put a little bit more salt and pepper in the back so along with the salt and pepper that, that the normal hair have I'm importing a little bit more dark hair over here and if I see that I didn't put enough like for example here I'm gonna place another one just have to make sure that I grab a black strand because this is also yeah there it is see so now here I have a little bit more dog than I used to have and then I'm gonna put this back or maybe I just need to put a little bit more here. I'm gonna place it back and then continue with the normal hair. Fill the row and then make a couple more rows and then put another little bit more dog hair in order for the back to have a little bit more salt and pepper. So yeah, I'm gonna continue like this and then when I'm about to finish that, I'm going to show you the results. So I just finished the piece and I have to say that it's a little weird to work with this hair. The first thing I have to say is that it was easy to work, although this is very fine hair. That's one. Um, the next thing that I have to say is that uh, I think I did the density a little thicker than I expected. But the base, if you look at it from above, because this is white hair, let me just hide a little the lights. Maybe it's too light here. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, um, from above it might look a little thinner. So yeah, I think on her head it's gonna look pretty okay. What I have to say about the hair though is that the hair is so wiry and so weird. I, I know that this is uh, Remy hair, it's a, um, a donor hair, donor haircut hair, but it's, I don't know, it was tangling a little bit. Uh, the reason, why, this is why I made the returns of the hair very small, much smaller than normal, because as you can see, nothing is actually flying up that much. Let me just brush this, you can see that it's nothing too much, because if the hair was very thick, 
the returns will have to be longer but you can see that the returns here are just you know just tiny hair that long not not, not even two inches but they just go with the flow and the reason why i did that there you can see it better like that somewhere here you can see see so it's that much it's, it's about four centimeters a little less than two inches and the reason why i did it like that is because the hair is dangling a lot and i know that ventilated units with 100 uh, percent virgin hair can tangle a lot in the in the base and a lot of people just don't understand that they might say that why did my asian piece didn't um didn't um tangle so much and this piece which is better and more expensive tangles it's because the hair is 100 percent virgin so yeah um i'm gonna have to make the clip areas and i'm gonna fold everything inside obviously well i'm gonna show you that the good thing about that is that i don't really need to bleach any knots so i'm gonna take it out from here i'm gonna uh st stitch everything down and put the clips and show you exactly the finished piece how it looks and uh, before that i'm gonna take a couple of snapshots to show it to the lady so because you know whenever i make an order i always update my um, my orders on a regular basis, although I'm a little too busy now, but I keep doing this. <laughs> 